Antonio Sierra has more. The audit chronicles cases across rural Oregon where drinking water is inaccessible or undrinkable due to drought and other factors. It points to issues in Harney, Klamath, and Morrow counties as being particularly serious. Oregon Secretary of State Shamia Fagan called the audit shocking and said the state should take urgent action. The auditors recommended state agencies make better plans, improve communication, and organize water data. This contrasts with locals experiencing the water crisis. They told auditors directly that state agencies have contributed to water issues and asked for more enforcement of water law. Antonio Sierra, OPB. Antonio Sierra, OPB. The justices on the Washington Supreme Court have not indicated when they will issue a decision on the validity of the state's capitals capital gains tax. The court heard oral arguments yesterday on a challenge to the tax lawmakers passed in 2021. The 7% tax applies to profits greater than $250,000 from Can the sale of assets like stocks and bonds. Noah Purcell is Solicitor General for Washington State. He asked the justices to issue their decision quickly since the state is already making plans to collect tax. The tax is due on April 18th and the legislative session is proceeding right now with the budget writers, you know, factoring in whether this revenue will be available and so on. Opponents of the capital gains tax argued in their lawsuit that it is an income tax and therefore illegal under state construct constitution. Backers call the new tax an excise tax on transactions. But the lower court rejected that argument and sided with the opponents. You're listening to news from OPB. You can find more news online anytime at opb.org. Support for NPR comes from NPR stations. Other contributors include Fisher Investments. As a fiduciary, Fisher Investments is obligated to act in their client's best interest. Learn more at fisherinvestments.com. Investments in securities involve the risk of loss. This is Science Friday. I'm Kathleen Davis. And I'm Maddie Sophia. We're sitting in this week for Ira Flayden. Later in the hour, we'll dive into what's known and not known about long COVID. And we'll dig into the world of art crime and just how experts go about authenticating priceless antiquities. But first, even though some days may feel more chaotic than others, the rotation of the surface of planet Earth proceeds at a pretty constant rate, about one full rotation every 24 hours. But the rotational speed of the inner core is less stable, and it's been known to shift now, researchers are reporting in the journal Nature Geoscience that, according to seismic data, the Earth's inner core may have recently paused its rotation and could even go on to reverse direction relative to the rest of the planet. Joining me to talk about that weirdness and other stories from the week in science is Tim Revel, deputy U.S. editor at New Scientist, based in New York City. Tim, welcome back to Science Friday. Hello, thanks for having me. All right, so... What appears to be going on with this spinning core story? 
Yeah, this is really fascinating. So researchers have managed to use earthquake data, effectively similar yeah, earthquakes that passed through the earth over the, the last 60 or 70 years, years, to work out what's happening in Earth's inner core, which is the hard, solid iron inner core. There's then a liquid outer core around that, and then there's the mantle. And what's changed is, before around 2009, if you'd been standing on the mantle and you'd been able to look down into the inner core, it would have looked like it was slow because it was spinning slightly faster than the mantle. But what's changed now is it's slow down and effectively if you look down at it, it would seem like it was stationary because it's moving at about the same speed as the mantle, so a, a significant change. I've seen some stories that say it has stopped, others that say that it has just slowed down. I mean, what is right? Yeah, so it's stopped relative to the mantle. So it's still spinning around, and there is some room for error here, but it, it's effectively at a point where it's moving at about the same speed as the mantle. And what's particularly interesting about this new study is that it seems to suggest that there's a continual oscillation where it ends up spinning a bit faster than the mantle and a bit slower than the mantle with a period where it's uh, around the same speed in between. And that cycle appears to be about 70 years, um, and that's continually 